Hello friends, family, and other creatures from the deep dark internet. My name is Dr. Mitch, also known as Dr. Rice, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about three tricks that you can do to naturally lower your blood pressure without the use of medication. But before we dive into that, I wanna talk about what the heck blood pressure even is. Blood pressure is the force of blood pushing against the inside walls of arteries. Arteries are tiny pipes that carry oxygen-rich blood all throughout your body. Blood pressure is measured using two different numbers. The top number is called your systolic blood pressure, and this measures your blood pressure when your heart is beating. The bottom number is called your diastolic blood pressure, and this is measuring the blood pressure when the heart is at rest in between those heartbeats. Why is it even important to keep your blood pressure low in the first place? High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is what we call a silent killer because you really don't experience any symptoms up until you have serious complications. Now, long-term uncontrolled high blood pressure or hypertension can lead to death, which is obviously a serious problem. However, it's not just death that you have to be wary of with uncontrolled hypertension as you are at high risk to get a stroke. Now, the bad thing about getting a stroke is that it can cause paralysis or leave you with the inability to use half your body the rest of your life. This is serious stuff, guys. I frequently get patients who tell me, well, doc, we're all gonna go someday, we're all gonna die, and my high blood pressure, one day I'm just gonna get a good old fail swoop of the heart attack, it's gonna take me out, and that'll be my life. I will have lived a life that I am proud of. And I tell them and urge them that high blood pressure can actually lead to a stroke in at the age of 40 or 50, which can lead you with paralysis of the left or right side of your body for the rest of your life. And so the quality of your life can greatly diminish if you have uncontrolled hypertension. And that is probably, I would think, the scariest part. So the absolute number one thing that you can do in order to lower your blood pressure naturally without the use of medication is to get rid of all salt. This is especially true for additive salt. So if you have high blood pressure or borderline blood pressure, do not put extra salt on your food. Following up with that, try to cook all your foods and eat whole foods as packaged foods or foods that come in boxes tend to have a lot of additive salt in order to preserve the food as long as possible. This concept makes sense for what we know with high blood pressure. In chemistry, whenever you have salt, water will always follow the salt wherever it goes. So if you increase the amount of salt that you take into your body, water will follow that salt, get into your blood vessels, and you will have increased fluid, including your blood, in those arteries, pushing harder on the walls of those arteries, causing high blood pressure. So absolutely time to get rid of it, throw away all the extra salt, and the goal is to eat fewer than four grams of salt per day if you want to greatly reduce your risk of developing high blood pressure or reducing the high blood pressure that you already have. The number two biggest important thing that you can do today to get rid of high blood pressure is to exercise. Now this doesn't mean that you have to go all gym bro, eating protein shakes and going to the gym six or seven days a week lifting heavy weights. The exercise that I'm talking about is walking at a brisk pace for about 30 minutes a day up to five days per week. Doing this five days per week has actually been shown in the literature to be the greatest intervention that you can do in order to lower your blood pressure quickly. Again, talking about the mechanisms of blood pressure, this makes sense as any additive or extra weight that you put on your body will just increase the force of that blood pushing against those artery walls, thus elevating your blood pressure. The number three biggest thing that you can do in order to lower blood pressure is to get adequate sleep every single day. Sleep has a substantial impact on blood pressure overall. The adage of needing eight hours of sleep every single night is a myth that has been largely debunked by modern day sleep science that we have. Sleep is highly variable from individual to individual, with some people needing up to nine hours of sleep every night to feel perfectly restored, while others only need about six hours. 
However, the typical recommendation is still somewhere between seven to eight hours. One medical issue that has been known to cause substantial hypertension if left untreated is something called obstructive sleep apnea. This occurs when you stop breathing for a certain period of time at night when you sleep and can substantially reduce the overall oxygenation that you give to the cells in your body if you're not breathing for three, five, seven, eight, nine seconds at a time, 30, 40, 50 times a night, it can really add up. So if you frequently wake up with headaches or feeling super tired after you get up, or if you're going throughout your day and if you were left alone for about five or 10 minutes, you would find yourself kind of dozing off, I would bring this up to your doctor and allow him or her to investigate whether or not you could have obstructive sleep apnea. If you do these three things faithfully, I guarantee that your blood pressure will decrease in about 30 days or less. Thanks so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. And as always, everyone, I will catch you all on the next one.